I think that inflation's coming down. I wouldn't say that we've won the battle against inflation yet, but uh, it's come down and that's a reason for some optimism. And do you think that that is going to be great news for interest rates later in the year? Well, I think the last mile is going to be hard. Uh, we've got to get it down between 2 and 3%. Uh, it could take a while. But the good news is that because it's come down, I don't think rates are going to go up anymore. A couple of key factors. First off, Australia has tremendous resources. So if you look at the natural resources, you look at the human capability, you look at where we're positioned in Asia, where uh, significant markets are for our products, uh, I think we have all of the tools to be extremely competitive. Well, first of all, I think I mean we have... Uh, tremendous natural resources. There's a great spirit and culture and attitude. We live in a you know, safe and very well governed, uh, certainly relatively to, to many other countries. You know, we should and continue to attract people who want to live here. We should be able to diversify and build a future economy. And all of those reasons make me very optimistic about Australia's future. Put simply, Australia makes things the rest of the world needs, whether that's resources or the food that we make at Grain Corp. That's great for incomes in Australia. Uh, when you look compared to globally, uh, very stable political system. Uh, we're in a safe and secure part of the world, generally speaking, and most people are pretty sensible. The, the economy is in good shape overall. The housing market is buoyant, unemployment is very low, and our expansion overseas continues. The US interest in Australia has never been greater. And I think we're going to see continued investment from the United States as well as Australians interested in investing in the United States, which will help create jobs and grow the economy in both countries. Our education system and the health of our people are two really important factors for American companies looking to invest here. So we have a very diverse, very well-educated, very healthy population. So a lot of our medical companies like to invest here. The high education level means that the tech companies do very well here as well. And the optimism of the Australian people. I hear a lot of American companies saying they love working with Australians because they have this attitude of nothing is too much trouble. Let's just get on with it. We're going to get it done. So Americans and Australians work really well together. So from a bilateral perspective, US-Australia, I think both economies are going to go well into the future.